Hello, YouTube. I thought I'd just have a friendly chat with you guys and cover some things. Um, this is probably going to be a pretty interesting video in the long run. It may start off a little bit slow, but uh, you guys hang in there with me because I'm going to cover some important stuff. Uh, first and foremost, you see on the screen here um, a video that BP Earthwatch has done. Uh, regarding uh, the shooting that went on over in Burns, Oregon. And he made a comment here. He says, I'm already getting hit with this video. Please share. And um, over on the right side of the screen, you'll see 35 comments, you know, in reply to that comment that I am getting hit with this video. Please share. 35 comments. Yet on the left of the screen, you see four comments. Okay? I think that's very interesting. Now, just for kicks, I'll refresh it for you. And um, so no one can accuse me of stacking a deck or anything like that. Okay, so you see here, it comes up for comments, all right? Yet, if I go back over here again to Google+, Plus, again, now we got 38 comments. How can that be? How can it be 38 comments on the Google+, Plus? you know, which should be showing up on YouTube, all right? Unless Jesse himself is hiding the comments, okay? Which I kind of suspect, to be honest with you. All right, and then I've got another one here that I want to show you really quick. I'm not going to harp on this very long. So hang in there with me, because i got some important stuff to tell you. And here, same video. Okay. As you can see there, same exact video. And then going back to his comment, I'm already getting hit for this video. Notice I just refreshed it, and this is only showing three comments. How's that possible? How how can there be 39 comments, 40-ish comments, and Google Plus, and yet three or four on YouTube? Something's not right. I, I suspect that he's like, you know, doing something ghost banning I, I'm not sure what's going on uh, removing comments I don't know all right so that's that part of the video so let me go back here because I got some important stuff to show you now getting back to this whole things in Burns Oregon um, I've been studying this pretty extensively and uh, incidentally if you guys want to see the complete link because my reply to him why are you getting hit I posted a complete version link from the FBI channel on my Google Plus channel hours ago several hours ago now probably like four I'm not getting any hits I'm not getting harassed so I don't know what's going on okay so back to what I was saying and by the way here's the FBI uh, channel right here okay alright so getting back to the situation at Burns. Um, got a couple things I want to go over with you. Professor Dooms, Doom did a very good uh, amount of research on this, and I really strongly, strongly, strongly suggest that you guys research this and, and watch this video because this is going to, you know, point out a lot of things I've been saying for a long, long time. Um, 
my con well matter of fact I think I even made a comment that will explain it right here I just said if I've said it once I've said it a thousand times all roads lead back to Genesis 6 now, some of you guys will understand what that means some of you won't the ones that don't you need to do some research okay because These, these Illuminati slash, you know, secret societies slash Freemasons guys are not our pals. I mean, we, we, we all know some that uh, are fine, upstanding citizens, and you got Shriners that help little kids and, and all that. But it, it's a really, really dark agenda. And uh, I've quoted, you know, Albert Pike's uh, statement. You know, many, many, many times, <clears throat> prophecy that you know there's going to be three world wars and they're going to ferment and instigate all of them, and it's going to, you know, they're going to use pit Jews against Christians and Christians against Muslims and you know people against people, and you know what we're seeing playing out is exactly what's happening. So, but if you look here on the screen, you'll see. Um, something that Professor Doom brought up and it says Robert Burns Lodge Robert Burns Lodge the Masonic Lodge with over 118 years of history chartered in June 2012 1890 when Burns Oregon was still the wild back the cattle ratchers and timber okay here's an interesting note it goes back our first worshipful master was C.A. Sweet, a current master is Scott Shaw. Okay, let me let me say, say something. There's no such thing as a worshipful master other than Jesus Christ. Okay, God the Father, God in general, three. Okay, the Trinity, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, God. Those are the only people, or only entities you want to worship. You don't worship anybody else. No human being is worshipable. Okay? So, if you, if you go back through this video, he's going to show you, he's, gonna, he's done all the homework for you. He's going to show you the underground tunnels. He's going to show you the caves. He's going to show um, how they found skeletons in these things, which goes directly back to Genesis 6. Um were well, the sons of God, so the daughters of men were fair and took all that they wanted and and had offspring, and they were Nephilim, men of renown. And um, that's the reason God sent the flood to destroy all but eight people. Okay. And then it also goes further to say, and they're Nephilim in the land in those days and after. And uh, January 2.43 talks about how they mingle their seed with the seed of men talking about fallen angels still to this day mingling their seed with the seed of men we've got GMO crops going all over the place we've got all kinds of genetic modifications going on and um, you know all this stuff is tied in okay and it's come out that uh, not only are the Freemasons doing a bunch of cult rituals on this site but um, in a cave, it's it's clearly marked. I don't know if I can find it, but I'll give it a go here. But um, it's actually, they've actually put their logo on the outside of the cave. It's madness. Incidentally, Theodore Roosevelt was the one that started all these refuge, refuges. And, um, you know, he was a full-blown Freemason. So a lot of the people that uh, you know have been leaders are occultists, and I've been telling you guys for that you know a long, long, long time. And um, oh, this is talking about how these guys, these divers, went into the cave. Apparently, there's some water in there and found some artifacts, and you know everything. All hell broke loose, and the dads lost their jobs, and very next day and I mean again um, do some do some research and, and uh, watch this video but it doesn't look like I'm gonna be able to find that uh,
where they've got their logo outside. Here, here's a picture of them in one of the caves, and you can see the Freemason logo here. So, um, people really need to understand that, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, there, there are a lot of occultists in our governments, uh, in our schools, even in our churches. And what I see is the church not having hardly any discernment these days uh, and not being able to sort this stuff out and believing all kinds of false doctrine that these secret societies have uh, brought into the church. So um, i just like to encourage you to watch a few videos this being one, Secrets of uh, Freemasons at Oregon's Weiler, um, Wildfo uh, Wildlife Refuge, Refuge by Pro Professor Doom 3. And then uh, there's another video I would strongly suggest. Um, the Real Secret Agenda for America is No Secret Anymore by the Scariest Movie Ever. Excellent video, excellent video. And um, you might want to watch the last hour of the Hagman and Hagman report uh, from 1-28-2016 uh, that Dave Hodges uh, was on. And he was talking about the situation and uh, how we're being railroaded, you know, and the, the things that these protesters did right, the things that they did wrong. And I, I have nothing but respect for Dave but here's a point I want to make about Dave Dave routinely has this black Hebrew Israelite um, pastor Dow on his channel and pastor Dow is a racist that identifies with Louis Farrakhan if you go to my channel all the proof is there that you need so the point I'm trying to make is a lot of people that we trust can be right on a lot of things and be miles off on others. And I can't believe that Dave Hodges, of all people, can't smell what a rat this uh, Pastor Charles Dow is because he runs, in my opinion, a cult, hands down. So with that, I encourage you to do your own research and, uh, you know, Get to the bottom of it. Get to the truth. Don't just take everything that everybody says just because they've been right so many times before because I can't tell you how many times I've seen people do excellent studies on uh, things and then turn around and do something else and it's just miles and miles off base. Uh, Jonathan Cleck is a great example of that. On some of the things he does, you know, the, the things on the dollar bills and all that, it's just astounding Inf you know information but then he turns right around and claims that uh, you know Genesis 401 doesn't mean what it says and that's that Adam knew his wife Eve and she conceived in bare Cain he, he, he swears up and down that, that Satan is the father of Cain I mean so look you guys got to do your homework and part of the reason that we're in the trouble that we're in today is because not very many people are doing it. So I apologize that this video wasn't super polished, but I'm busier than a one-legged man in a butt-kicking contest. And I, but I wanted to get this out, so uh, hopefully you'll glean some knowledge out of it. I suggest you guys look at my YouTube channel. I've got some good videos in there. And... Uh, one final note, if you're sitting around waiting on the rapture and to be snatched out of here before it hits the fan, don't count on it, okay? Do me a favor, at least start storing some rice and beans and, and uh, you know, having a backup plan just in the event Christ doesn't return as fast as you think he will, okay? But, um, you know, this isn't about a rapture. This isn't a rapture debate. I don't want to get in a rapture debate with you, but, uh, you know... I, I kind of believe he's going to return on the last day, the way Martha said that he would, you know, Lazarus, Lazarus would rise on the last day. 
And so, um, and we all know the dead are going to rise first. So if Lazarus, Lazarus rises on the last day, then that means we're not going anywhere until the last day. And so that means we're going to go through the tribulation. And that means you guys need to be prepared for it. So I'm doing my best. I realize that this is not, you know, a comfortable, comfy subject for most people. And that kind of approach doesn't get very many subscribers, you know, for me. But I don't do this for subscribers. I don't do it for money. If you guys want to support me, support me. You know, we could use the help. But uh, I don't do it for money. I do it to help save souls and lead people towards Christ. So I hope you can respect that. Love you guys. If I can do anything in the world for you, you know, please let me know. But, um, you know, please wake up out there because it's getting really bad. And the Baltic Dry Index is crashing. It's the lowest point it's ever been since they started it. So they say no cargo's moving. If, that, if all this is true, pretty soon we're going to start having some pretty serious shortages of... Uh, supplies and materials you need to get them now you need to get your supplies now you need to get your supplies now now love you just doing my very best to warn you okay so don't don't shoot the messenger love you if i can help you let me know thanks bye now